Selection tonight, and we just heard um, a Croatian song from the Klapa singing tradition, the coast of Croatia. And um, Klapa singing is often referred to as the barber shop of uh, Croatian music, uh, and perhaps you could see why. Uh, my name is Sophie, and the original, uh, you know, OG members of Kulomba are Lysander Jaffe here. <laughs> Adam Simon. <laughs> and the three of us, um, like I said, grew up in Conway, and Adam and I moved to Conway a year and a half ago, and we love, love living here and being here. And we've biked by this church many times, hoping to come in one day, and we're thrilled to be here. And we're also joined tonight by Lexi Ugolo, who <laughs> is from Cambridge. <laughs> If you've been following Kulova, you might have seen Lexi before. Uh, we've loved to sing with her, and she is joining us for, our, for her first tour with Kulova, so we're really excited about that. And you might have also heard, down below, with the basso, basso profundo, we have Daniel Friedley, who's joining us in Boston. So now, uh, we've, we've 
we've presented ourselves and we want to uh, jump right into going back into time. Uh, one of Kulova's favorite things to do is to bring our different specialties and bring different uh, colors of music and we are going from Croatia to France. Uh, this is a drinking song that my father taught me when I was a child. Uh, <laughs> I loved singing it with him. Uh, but the words, um, in a nutshell, are saying, oh, um, I love good wine, and I love to drink it with fatty ham. And I only drink certain kinds of wine, Anjou or Arbois, because the other one makes my head spin. So this is Tour Dion uh, by an anonymous composer, uh, Pierre Atteignant, arranged this. <laughs> Quand je bois du Madeleine, ma mère de toi, 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 instrument that you will find on stage besides our voices. Um, cello and violin didn't come around until a little bit later, although violin was kind of making its way there. This is a cornemuse. Uh, you will soon be delighted by its dulcet tones. Um, though this is one of the buzzy instruments of the Renaissance, so it's known for being surprisingly loud for its size, and that's due to underneath all of this sort of fancy top, there's a double reed, like an oboe, but I don't put my lips on it directly. The air just kind of vibrates in this chamber up here and makes the reeds vibrate themselves. In the Renaissance, there would be a whole bunch of these in various sizes. This is the smallest one, the soprano. So I'll be on the top voice. Uh, and it's, I think strident would be a, a good <laughs> adjective for its sound. Maybe but funny. Maybe funny. Maybe, well, maybe. There might be some humor here. in there. Uh, but in, in consort with a bunch of instruments sounding the same and having the same timbre, it kind of projects this almost organ-like texture. Uh, with just one, 
it sticks out a little bit more, but that makes it a little bit more exciting, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is Aubin Vigne by the famous Renaissance composer Orlando di Lasso, who wrote on top of some of the most pristine and admired, revered Renaissance polyphony, he also wrote a fair amount of drinking songs. And this, we thought, would go well after Tour Dion, basically saying, oh, beautiful wine on the vine. Um, uh, how nice and kind you are. Beautiful wine as grapes. And then a couple of nonsense syllables. Quickly just check out. Yeah, let's, we have to tune. You will... Maybe. We'll see. We'll Let's hear the <laughs> country for a couple for two songs in uh, in English from America the second song we're going to do is from the uh, group called the Georgia Island Sea Singers it's from this amazing recording it's called the Song of Love and the version that they sing actually has this um, uh, solfege shape note version many, many anyone here familiar with shape note or sacred harp singing a bunch of people you can talk about it with the watermelon um, and this old <laughs> recording has this amazing wild uh, solfege syllable set and it's kind of just, we, we've performed it like that before, but we're not going to do that tonight. It's called This Song of Love. Uh, and then with, right before that, we're going to do a song called Sinner Man, not after the version that Nita Simone did, but uh, Ralph Stanley.
It seems so much higher than we used to do it. Okay, let's do it let's lower. Do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> that way you get to hear the opening one I think more we time. did it in B flat. Okay. <laughs> Adam was looking at me with really big eyes, and I thought, <laughs> if we go, if we keep going. Say. <laughs> Now, now 
singing a song. A song. A song. A song. A song. A song. A Thank you all so much. We're going to sing you a couple songs now from the island of Corsica, which is off of France and Italy in the Mediterranean, very much has its own musical and cultural traditions, and you'll hear this very improvised style of polyphony where my part, the segunda part, kind of leads and the other two parts fit around me, and it's very improvised and free. There are a lot of wiggly ornaments. You're going to love it. Um, <laughs> these are actually, these are both uh, newly composed uh, Corsican songs, like within the past probably 50 years, by Jean Etienne Lanjani, who is one of the kind of foremost singers, practitioners, teachers of this style. This first one is called Sole Montagne d'Orezza, and it's about being in the mountains of Orezza, listening to the dove and the partridge, singing and telling the whole world that you are in love. So Same composer, actually. 
And this one talks about calling out to the angel Gabriel. the Mediterranean and also the Black Sea to sing some songs from Bulgaria now. Um, this first one is, they're both, at, they're all actually from this tradition of arranged Bulgarian folk songs, which starting in the 1950s, um, these arrangers and composers started recruiting these kind of all-star teams of singers from all over Bulgaria and also making arrangements that fused traditional Bulgarian music with um, elements of Western harmony. So you'll hear some weird, very weird, and kind of normal harmonies in that order. <laughs> um, this first one is an arrangement of a Thracian song called Tribulbula Peat, which is about three nightingales singing in the mountains. And I sometimes describe this as a song where the snacks in the song get progressively worse. There's a nightingale that comes and sings for sundown, and a girl feeds that nightingale with sugar. Pretty good snack. The nightingale that comes at midnight, she feeds it with raisins. Not bad. Raisins are kind of a divisive food. <laughs> they probably won't kill you. The third nightingale comes to sing at dawn, and this nightingale she feeds with poison. Oh. So that's it's, sort of a, it's sort of a cryptic song, but that's what it's about. I don't know what to tell you. Tribul biula peia, gore planin neto, gore planin neto. Oh, 
never guess from the way it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> must, have been a, must have been some wedding. Interesting wedding. Yeah. <laughs> song for you, just because they're so fun. Um, this one is about a fox who's very, very concerned about the welfare of her fox babies. Uh, what's going to happen to them? Are they going to go to college? Are they going to end up at the Istanbul market as, uh, as scarves? This is Oko Yala, PC Scotland. Thank you. 
Thank you everyone for coming out tonight. This is so fun to perform for a full house like this. Oh my goodness, I see most of your face, parts of your faces. Oh, wow. Um, so we've got one more song before intermission. Um, it is a Hungarian song um, that I've heard, my dad's from Hungary and I've heard my, my parents sing this song together. It, saw, it talks about, well, listen, this is not about my parents' situation, but the song says, <laughs> the song describes, <laughs> Uh, he says, she says, she says, you, you cheated, you think you cheated on me, oh. but you only cheated yourself because you don't have my love anymore. Oh. Yeah. Oh, love. And um, it's called, it's called Oskondotam Regi Babam. And we started singing this song, I think, first together a few years ago, a few years ago when they first got a kitten. And they named their kitten Regi Babam after the song. Um, and if you would like to see pictures of this cat, you should come visit our CD table. <laughs> we have many photos. It's a very cute kitten, princess cat, um, along with our CD selection, their CD selection. Uh, we also have a mailing list. Please sign up for the mailing list. Um, yeah, and we'd love to chat about the cat, about watermelon, about, you know, anything. <laughs> all the things, all the things. So yes, ask on the
Thank you all. Uh, we've got a couple more songs in the second half tonight. We're going to sing next a song. We mentioned this book earlier. What is that book? This guy here. Uh, a lot of the music that we... Uh, the Sacred Heart. It's like our, a lot of the music that got me, anyway, personally, I won't speak for others, into a lot of folk music singing uh, was The Sacred Heart in New England. And this song called Soar Away from that book. Feel free to come and check this book out if you're, if you're curious. They call it shape note music because all the notes have shapes. <laughs> and not just circles. sake of the album. If you haven't, check it out. It's in that small little room. Um, and this is a, it's a text by Isaac Watts, as a lot of these hymns in the Secret Heart are by Isaac Watts. And um, this is an arrangement, well it's not an arrangement, it's a, I wrote this kind of folk tune, sort of uh, fiddle tune style sort of thing, little reminiscent of kind of Appalachian melodies and um, made a six verse arrangement of this song. And following that, we'll do another original of mine called Croatia, which I wrote when I was visiting that lovely country. So first is Feathered Dove.
The streets of mercy never cease. To sing it for um, with a larger group, um, you know, it's just so much fun to sing. So it's just we need you to start a chorus in the area. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That'd be so much fun. In the meantime, <laughs> uh, feel free to just put us a little note, put your your email, and if you only just want to receive the PDF without getting on the mailing list, just write a little star. Another, um, another asterisk next to it. Another quick note about this is that this, um, we mentioned at the beginning of the concert, but this is the first concert of our week and a half tour. And we'll, we'll, we'll be, uh, <laughs> uh, it's hard to plan things in COVID time. So a week and a half, take it one step at a time. Our next concert is in Concord, Massachusetts. Someone was asking me and um, I, uh, um, it will be in a beautiful outdoor sculpture garden in Concord, Massachusetts. Um, uh, the information is on our website, but if you would like to invite your friends, um, we'd love to have a wonderful crowd there just as we had uh, tonight. So, uh, and that goes for the other concerts as well. We are singing in Belfast on Saturday, uh, in Stoning to Belfast, Maine. Yes, Belfast. <laughs> Belfast, Maine on Saturday, um, in Stonington, Maine, which is on Deer Isle, um, in a beautiful outdoor garden as well. So if you know anyone in Maine, please let them know. We'd love to meet and sing with them, for them. Uh, and then we'll be in um, 
in Brooklyn at Bar Bess, which we're thrilled about uh, opening for Slavic Soul Party, for those of you who know that. So that's really something exciting. And uh, Club Passim on Wednesday, the 31st. And then we'll be in Montpelier, Vermont. Uh, on the first. So if you know anyone in any of those places, please let them know. We'd love to, we'd love to meet them. We'd love to share this music with them. And uh, it always makes it extra special with, with friendly crowds like the one that we have tonight. Thanks again for coming. I'll pass it on to Lysander. I'll speak just a little bit about the songs you're about to hear. Um, when Paul and I were talking about setting this concert up, he asked us if we know any Ukrainian songs. And I said yes. Um, I've been fortunate to study with some really amazing teachers of Ukrainian folk songs and real like collectors and preservers of these traditions. Um, and today happens to be Ukrainian Independence Day, which is completely unplanned. Um, yeah. So we sing these songs with a lot of gratitude to our teachers and. Um, hope for continued independence, continued sovereignty, and, and peace very soon. Um, this first one is called Zelene Ajito, and it's about um, friends gathering, and wheat getting green in the fields, and being with the people you love. <laughs> Next, we're going to sing you a trio song, also from Ukraine. I learned this from uh, Yevgen Yefremov, who's like probably the <laughs> foremost Ukrainian ethnomusicologist of like this style of, of village singing. He's an amazing teacher, amazing singer. Um, I learned this from him at, at a summer camp in like when I was like 16. And it talks about um, the soldiers returning from the war and they stop in a village and um, someone offers them some Vareniki, some Ukrainian dumplings, and they're very excited about that. 
um, their butter that goes with the dumplings, and then they ask if there's going to be any vodka, and their host says basically, don't count on it, like, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> and you'll hear in the, in the chorus, this is kind of like a very marching chorus, um, you'll hear the word idiot, idiot, idiot over and over again. Um, does not mean the idiot as in the Dostoevsky novel, it actually is just the third person for, uh, for walk. So it's about marching. Zagorodom gozu pasla nas virana gorsho pasla gopnu basudarinya gopnu basudarinya darinya greza la triraza 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 vashika ilaza vashika. This last Ukrainian song I learned uh, actually just this year from Nadia Tarnovsky, who's kind of the next generation of awesome singers keeping Ukrainian village music alive. Um, she's done a Fulbright over there, um, amazing singer. Amazing